This is going to be a short video of roughly what you're going to be um, uh, asked to do and there's certain questions that you have asked somewhere along the line in emails, Facebook etc. Some people have had this booklet where it has uh, some instructions on there. Now I will fire over some of these if anybody wishes to ask them but basically it just tells you where you're going to park. The majority would have had these ones which it tells you in here as well. These little boxes coordinates with the boxes that are on the actual road itself per group. This will change uh, on the day because we have moved everybody around. Um, on here everybody has to abide by the assembly routes um, uh, to arrive at the, at the arena at a designated spot. No, not before nine o'clock. Um, everybody's got to report to Andy along as you're coming down towards the car parking here and he will allocate you. Now the parking is really, really tight. Um, you will be allocated to wherever he tells you to go, but you have to butt up. So any trailers that have got a rear load, the, the, the next proceeding car has to butt up to that back end of that trailer and drop down at either side. We are allowed to bump up on a curb, but just around here there is a fire exit we are not allowed to block. Um, and the road here, Mayfair Place, we're not allowed to block. Now my carriage driver is going to be allocated here, so he's got plenty of room to drop the carriage, um, and everybody else will be allocated. And you'll be appointed here. My, my lorry will be parked there once everybody's got in, as we've got a few seven and a half tonners. Um, also, we've got toilets very in located like here, Caff Nero, the Mayfair Hotel is quite obliging as well. Um, and uh, any problems, there is designated staff from destination events that would uh, liaise with me, Andy, and some of the team leaders as well. But Andy is your first port of call, nobody else is to go anywhere else. Um, Kickoff kicks off at 12. Um, we do have a set order of, um, of who's going where. Now nobody is um, to be uh, mounted up unless they're told to do so. But first off, uh, on number one, we've got horses that have traveled more than three hours. They have top priority to be uh, taken down, walked and stretched their legs along the Piccadilly bit before it gets busy and walked around. Um, so they loosen up a little bit and then go back. There will be a group meeting at 9.45 at the corner here. Now everybody has to attend. There is no a uh, reason for not no one to be there so before everybody else gets their horses off it's a quick literally 10 minute meeting if that to run through any questions and answers uh, of any issues that you may have now we do have a, uh, a, a, a vet on call and they, a lady's name is um, Hannah and she's got two vet nurses as well any issues if she says they do not ride they do not ride is under her instructions um, the welfare of the horses is paramount uh, all the way. Any emergencies she will deal with there. Um, also, Andy Morgan is your, as I say, first port of call for here. You, un you go on his instructions only on parking. No, as I said earlier, no one is to be mounted up unless told to do so by Andy because at my box there will be a running order and there will be a list of everybody's in attendance as well. Now. Um, a lot of newbies is going to be a bit scary, um, but everybody that's been there, done it and seen it and worn the t-shirt, so to speak, will help you. We all are as one whole group. Um, each horse will have um, the Alder Queen's logo sprayed on and they will be, <clears throat> it won't it be done in order format, so no horse gets missed out and they will be inspected so it looks absolutely spot on. Um, they will be inspected um, and I will designate someone on the day for that um, to be done. Now this part here of Piccadilly it is very very big. Now all this proceeding part here, once you are parked here, all this part here starts filling up with the rest of the uh, people that are taking part in the parade on this side of the road and that side of the road. So you are very limited on the movement of this road here. Now up on this road here behind as um, my side saddle crew and my Spanish crew know all too well. The American bands line up here. Now they are exceptionally loud. You would have looked at the YouTube videos 
which will um, show you uh, how loud it can be, but believe you me, it's loud. Every horse has to have a karma, either just as you've um, pulled them off the lorry, so it gives it roughly an hour and a half where it kicks in, um, or they can have it just before you unload them, so they can take the edge off. Um, I'd rather no horses' bandages or boots are taken off until at least 10 minutes or so until they've settled. Uh, please make sure they've got plenty of hay, plenty of water, any drop-ins that happen along there, just push it underneath your lorry because Westminster Council will come along and actually uh, remove it. So you haven't got to remove it and worry about it. Um, so just push it all underneath your lorry so it gives you all a clear running space. Like I said earlier, we have one carriage, uh, which is a Hackney Stallion. Um, so when he comes down this part of the street here, please give him plenty and plenty of room and be respectful because obviously it's his first time in a parade but you know you'll be pushed to one side etc uh, and he, they'll uh, come out to the bottom at the start point now when you um, are ready to kick off so to speak you will um, have a destination event and Andy now all the team leaders will be uh, radioed up so we can call everybody up if need be um, what I will say, once the parade has started along the route, there is no turning back, there is no getting out unless there is an absolute emergency and there's designated points along the route to do so. Um, when you go along the actual parade itself, uh, I'm not remembering this all off by heart, you will come to uh, various points. Please interact with the crowd. This is the, basically of the 1960s theme. Now, every group every team that's in, in your allocated bit, you will have a certain piece of music which is cued for you. So you haven't got to worry about it, but believe you me, it's really, really upbeat. Um, uh, interact with the crowd as you're going along. People like, people friendly horses, just pop your noses over, do smile and greet. My centrillions mob, do your absolutely wildest, crazy bells of centrillions, or in other words, bells of burst though. So it's, it's up to you to, reenact it. Black Beauty is very stylish, very um, to the book. National Velvet is to the book. Um, My Fair Lady is to the book and the play. Uh, Lady Godiva, well, I haven't got to say anything about that because they do their own. Um, um, uh, My Magnificent Seven as well. There's a whole array of teams and they're all built into the whole parade itself so you intermingle. You will get lots of coverage all the way along. All the handlers um, to be smartly dressed. Um, there has been a couple of issues where people just look like just come out of the stable yard. You are representing the UK. You're representing yourself, your yard, the UK, the horse world in its entirety. So it is big and, and, and treat it as so. Uh, but with the handlers as well, they will each have a lead rope just in case any one of the bigger groups gets into difficulty one way or another. They will have a lead rope and be there for your support. But please, please, please um, don't panic. Um, there's always a solution. We've had no problems. We've had no issues before. Um, but I will say that everybody's there that knows what they're doing. So interact with the crowd and be happy. You know what I mean? It's, you know, you ain't got to stress. All you lot got to do is ride in it. Um, and when you get down to the monument, uh, you'll go through certain parts of London which you're going to know and, and, and see and you've got disabled people and you've got dignitaries and you've got grandstands and you've got commentators. Now the commentators will stop either the riders to have a chat or they may stop and have a chat with your helper stroke walkers along the route. Now we're, where we've got like the say James Bond, you've got uh, the Norwegian Foyts and I probably said it wrong. Um, they're, they're a rare breed, they're, they're, they're different. And then you've got National Velvet where you've got the retrained racehorses where they've been completely gone from A to B in a whole transformation. And, and you've got a different, you've got, you've got a bit of everything. So people are not gonna know what you are. Um, so give them as much info as you can in the short space of time that you've got. Um, as I say, each designated point, you have grandstands, but you'll look at that on the, um, uh, main website for New Year's Day Parade. Now we are a part of them, it ain't just us, we are a part of those. When you get down to, all the way down 
the line 2.2 you'll have cameras here then everywhere hopefully pray to god the weather's going to be brilliant um you will come to uh the monument for where the fallen please turn to your left and salute it as you go past um i make that a criteria uh as a must have you all turn to your left and just gradually just bow and pay your respects it comes up very quickly to the end and you will see it uh, when you get to the end at Parliament Square, um, it's very big. I will wait for you to, and wait for all the other teams to follow up. Now, when we finished there, we are privileged um, to actually extend our part of the parade to um, Horse Guards Parade itself. And as we go in Horse Guards Parade, which some of you have seen on the Longings um, uh, photo shoot, we will all proceed there. The only part that cannot get onto there will be the carriage purely because it's bollard up. Now, uh, we have a, a photographer, uh, Joe, who is going to do all the PR stuff uh, for, for everybody, but everybody's entitled to do shots and pictures and whatever, and videos, and I would like it all in one pot once we're finished. When we get to Horse Guards Parade, I want each team to have a photo so you are have got the London Eye behind you, um, and Joe will take a slot. Once we've proceeded there, you will intermingle uh, mingle with the public. Once you've gone from there, we will proceed down, and then we will go down the Mall. Now the Mall is roughly, I think probably not far short of a mile. Um, we go down to the Mall, and then we will come to the monument where Buckingham Palace is. We will go to your left, and then round to the central gates of Buckingham Palace. Now, it has to be the central gates, not either side, because you will be asked to move on. There's huge amounts of public there. Uh, they will want to take photos. Just be gracious, because you know your horses might be a bit agitated. Um, have your photos done there, all in your groups, not split up if we can help it. Once you've done that, you will go round to the side of Buckingham Palace, which is Constitution Hill. Now, on the side of there, there is a sand gallop, but not li literally gallop you can have a little job or a little canter safely down to the bottom when you get to the top of constitution hill you will see where you would come in from piccadilly road is where we started so you just so where you go up constitution hill you've got piccadilly you go horseshoe round and then you walk down no traffic back to the boxes it takes probably about three hours have a good um sensible shoes etc but as you can see on here you most of these this here is in this booklet and you start your entrance at Hyde Park, um, Hyde Park Corner. I hope um, everything's been sort of covered and I will pass you on to Andy for the health and safety side of it.